I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler in Lake Travis. It is a hub of recreation and more importantly, the water source for hundreds of thousands of Central Texans, including in Austin. And you can see how low the levels are. When it was early on in the season around March, you know, we were like, oh, like there'll just be another Memorial Day flood or, you know, something will happen to bring the lake levels back up. Well, here we are in July and it really hasn't come yet. David Calleja owns float on boat rentals. A lot of what worries me is a lot of the unknown about what's next. Seeing is believing and you can't help but notice the toll the drought is taking. Docks are in the dirt, marinas are moving to deeper water and ramps like this one are closed. What once was a great spot to, especially for the North Shore residents to come in and drop their boat in and enjoy an afternoon on the lake. Um, is no longer. It's a domino effect of extreme heat and extremely dry weather. The hotter it gets, the more the lake drops, a little more than a third of an inch a day lost to evaporation. That's about 85 million gallons every single day. Now we need some rain, a lot of it. One plus side to the drought is that sandy beaches like this one here at Point Venture normally are underwater, and now they've become a little bit of a hot spot for those who have access spots are like more shallow and a lot of our friends are actually like um, breaking their boats. We're going into like sand spots and like hitting rocks because we're just not used to that being so shallow. While the situation at Lake Travis is concerning, it is critical at the country's two largest reservoirs. Lake Mead and Lake Powell are at record lows and continue to fall at alarming rates, threatening the water and power supply of millions in the western U.S. <laughs> Please rain, just come rain on us. Back at Lake Travis, the shallow coves are a logistical challenge, but with a maximum depth of 210 feet, the open lake, at least for now, is deep enough to weather the deepening drought of 2022. The lake is getting significantly lower, but you know, there's still plenty of water and still plenty of room to come enjoy it. And so, you know, we try to not dwell on it too, too much day, day to day.